All right, um, I've had a request from a customer to do a, a short follow-up video on the 1860 British Enfield cartridge to uh, more closely describe the wrapping process of the powder chamber and the bullet chamber. So one thing that I include with the uh, set here, so this is the, the set of templates for the British Enfield 1860 cartridge. And then I also include a couple mandrels and a former. So the forming tool is to help um, make the cavity for the nose of the bullet in the powder chamber. And then we've got a mandrel that's a half inch in diameter for the powder chamber. And then this is a cheater mandrel, okay? This is a mandrel for making the bullet chamber. And historically, you only had this, okay? You, you would actually wrap the powder chamber and the bullet together in the outer wrapper. Uh, so um, you wouldn't actually use this, but I like to use this. Um, it lets you make up uh, bullet compartments and powder compartments separately and uh, mass produce them and then marry, to, marry them together as you go. <clears throat> In theory, you know, if you wrap it around the bullet, you should get a tighter wrap, but I, I find that uh, I generally get better results using this separate cheater mandrel anyway. But I'm going to demonstrate both me methods here. I'm going to demonstrate the historical way to do it and, and the cheater way to do it. So I've already used the templates here to cut up some um, paper to make the cartridges. And uh, I use three different kinds of paper here. So for the bullet compartment, I'm using 100% uh, cotton rag vellum. I think it's 16 pound, uh, made by Stadler, um, bought it on Amazon. The powder chamber outer wrapper is just made out of computer notebook paper. And the stiffener is made out of a masking paper that comes on a, a four foot long roll, um, lifetime supply from a big box home improvement store. So it's just a, a masking paper. I think this is about seven thousandths thick. Um, this is, you know, I, I don't remember, about four thousandths, three or four thousandths thick. And the vellum is only about two thousandths of an inch thick. So that matters when you make the powder chamber so that your final diameter of your powder chamber matches the diameter of your bullet, which is 0.55 inches in diameter. And we'll get to that in a minute. We'll see that in a minute. So uh, this cartridge, the 1860 variant of the British Enfield cartridge, uh, used the final evolution of the bullet, which was the Boxer bullet, which was a deep cavity, uh, hollow-based bullet, 0.55 inches in diameter, and they used a, a wooden, a boxwood plug, and uh, to finish up the cartridge, they used a um, clay-fired plug. And so I'm using uh, plugs that I've made out of Sculpey. The bullet and the plug plate, uh, I purchased uh, both those molds from No, N-O-E, bullet molds, um, but they're frequently out of stock, so don't be surprised if you go looking for them and you don't find them. All right, so to get started with, we're gonna make the powder chamber. And um, we're gonna start with the stiffener. And we use the half inch diameter mandrel. And you position the end of the mandrel uh, flush with the edge of the stiffener. And the trick when you're rolling these, okay, is there's a couple things. So number one, use these fingers to anchor the end of the paper. And then use your thumb and forefinger here to pull towards yourself while these keep it anchored to the floor. So that lets you snug this guy up nice and tight. Another tip is you wanna use your eyeball and sight down here <clears throat> so that you keep this edge of the paper flush with the edge of the mandrel, okay? So if it's nice and straight, you'll roll it straight. If it's crooked, you're gonna roll a spiral. So you want it nice and straight and then pull it tight towards yourself and then you can start rolling it up. And as you roll it, you want to pull it towards yourself, skidding it, if you will, on your surface, on your work surface. And you want to wrap it up until you leave just this triangle exposed. And then we want to take the powder chamber outer wrapper and tuck it in to what you've already rolled up with the stiffener and start rolling that up. And again, you're gonna pull it tight and you wanna make sure this free edge here, you wanna to wanna to hold it down so it doesn't fold up on itself and you want it to start getting rolled up as well and 
Pull it nice and tight as you go. And then when you get to the end, your thumb and forefinger should be right here so that this free end is trapped and can't, it stays locked down tight. Because if you let go of that, you know, this thing is cut at an angle on, a, on purpose because it, it doesn't want to unwind. If this end point is anchored, and it will be, then the whole tube wants to stay tight. And you can see we don't have any gaps or anything here on our mandrel, okay? So we've got it nice and tight. And the next thing we want to do is we want to twist and push down into that bullet-shaped cavity in the end of the mandrel. So you want to pinch it all together and twist it in the same direction that you were rolling it, okay? So that really tightens up this end of the cartridge here and, and it locks it in place. And then we take the former with the bullet nose end and we push the end of the, of the powder out chamber outer wrapper down into that cavity. And this provides a, a place for the nose of the bullet to go in the finished cartridge, okay? So now we have a powder chamber and it's nice and tight and it's on the diameter, uh, it's nice and tight on the diameter of the mandrel. And I didn't bring my calipers over here for the video, but if you measure this, you know, it should measure out about 0.55 inches in diameter. It should be about the same as your bullet. And if it's not, if your paper's too thin, perhaps, if you used thinner paper, then you can make your mandrel a little bit bigger, you know, with some masking tape if you need to, to bump up the size. But this powder chamber should end up being the same diameter as your bullet, okay? Now, historically, the way the bullet was, the cartridge is finished, is next up we have to wrap up the, <clears throat> the bullet chamber, if you will, or the outer wrapper. And that was done with the bullet and the plug. So it was, everything's wrapped around the powder chamber and the bullet with its plug. And in theory, this should give you the best, tightest wrap uh, that you can get because you're not sliding it in after the fact. All right, so the end of the bullet should be flush with the end of these slits down here. I like to leave just a little bit more space. So I've got maybe a 16th of an inch of extra slit beyond the root of the bullet, the base of the bullet, just because I need the paper to get a good um, uh, choke. Now I'm sure in period those guys got so good at this that they needed just the barest minimum of paper to get a good choke, but I need a little bit extra of help and, and that's fine. As long as these slits come up to the shoulder of the bullet, then you're fine. All right, so just as before, you want to anchor the tail here to your work surface and pull it with your thumb, other thumbs and forefingers towards you so you get a nice tight wrap to start with, okay? And then you kind of scoot it towards yourself on the work surface, keeping your thumb and forefinger to pin that final piece down, okay? So that free end, you don't want it to unravel. And the way you do that is you pinch it with your thumb and forefinger until you can get it choked off, okay? So now you come over to your choking cord, still have your thumb and forefinger there, and you're gonna go once around, and then I swap out, my, now I'm using my thumb and middle finger, and put my forefinger over the end, and now you can choke the end of the cartridge. You put your forefinger over the end of the tube, to help keep, it, keep the mouth of the tube from collapsing while you're cinching down that choke. All right, to finish up, <clears throat> we take our uh, three-ply twine, linen cord here, and we use two half hitches to finish off the cartridge. And then these free ends can be trimmed. And if you have excess paper here, that can be disposed of also. so that you have a nice, neat, finished end. And you can press that onto the plug. All right, so at this point, you can see the powder chamber is, you know, in there, it's a little loose, but there's no real gaps here between the, 
bullet chamber and the powder chamber, uh, it's a pretty good fit. And that's what you're looking for, okay? And everything's nice and tight. Nothing's unraveling. In fact, my mandrel really doesn't want to come out of there, so we're going to have to twist it a little bit to get it come out. Okay, so to finish the cartridge, um, we need uh, a gummed band is what they called it. And what I like to use modernly is some half inch wide uh, masking tape. And it comes in different colors. If you really, some, some of these have blue or green bands on them. And you can simulate that with colored masking tape if you want. But anyway, half inch masking tape does the trick. And we're gonna place that on the junction and we we'll just wrap it around. And you can pinch it nice and, and use that mandrel so that you get it nice and glued down. Uh, and that's it, that's your cartridge, your finished cartridge. And all you have to do now is firmly hold this um, powder chamber and kind of twist out the mandrel. I really did a good job to wrapping it tight, as you can see, all right. And that's the finished cartridge. So at this point, you'd use a funnel and you'd put your 68 grains of um, powder in there, 2F uh, powder. And then again, to finish up, you're gonna pinch this tail where the mouth of that stiffener is and then twist and push it down into the mouth of the stiffener. And that finishes up the cartridge. And it should be nice and neat and tidy, just like you see. There really shouldn't be any unraveling uh, to speak of. Um, so that's, that's the historical way it's done. All right. Now that we've demonstrated the historical way to uh, wrap these cartridges, I'm going to show the ahistorical way to do it. Um, so to do that, we're going to use this cheater mandrel. It's 0.55 inches in diameter, same as your bullet should be. And uh, we've got one of our, our um, outer wrappers for the bullet chamber. And we just position our mandrel so that it's just about flush with these ends of these slits. Again, I I come back in a little bit just because I need a little more paper to get a consistent uh, choke on my cartridges. I suspect in period they got really good at not having a lot of excess paper on the end to trim off. All right, so again, you anchor your tail and you get it started and you eyeball it and make sure you're good and straight. I think I'm a little crooked. Let's try that again. Okay, pull it tight towards yourself and then start rolling. And as you're rolling, scoot it towards yourself, you know, so that you are constantly, you know, getting, winding it good and tight. And again, just as with the powder chamber, you want to pinch that end down so that it's not going anywhere. You don't want that free end able to unwind on you because then the whole tube gets sloppy. Okay. So I'm holding it with my thumb and forefinger, and then I'm going to use my ring finger, my middle finger and my thumb so that I can put my forefinger over the mouth of the tube, okay? So then I'm gonna come over to the choking tube, choking cord, put my forefinger over the end of the tube and then choke. Okay, and you'll end up with this little flower looking thing on the end of your cartridge. And then we're going to Finish it off with two half hitches. Trim away the excess cord. And if you've got any excess paper, then you can, you can trim that way also. Now you can't really push on this because the mandrel's hollow, but we'll solve that when our bullet's in it. So now you can remove the cheater tube and now you've got a bullet chamber. And you can make up, you know, as many of these as you want to. And then when you're ready, you take your bullets with your plugs, get your, your plug in there. And it's going to be tricky to seat it because it's going to be a, it should be an exact fit. Okay. And mine is. In fact, it doesn't even want it. There it goes. So now it's down in there. And once it's down in there, you can put your mandrel back in there. And now you can press your flower down nice and flat. Okay. And so now you've got a powder chamber with a bullet in it. So next we make up our, uh, I'm sorry, you've got a bullet chamber with a, a bullet in it. So next we can make our 
powder chamber and marry the two together. So now we go back to the half inch diameter um, mandrel, just as before. We get flush with the end of the stiffener. We make sure we're straight. You anchor, you pull back towards yourself, and then as you wind, you wanna scoot and, and keep it real nice and tight until all you're left was with, with that triangle. Then we take our outer wrapper for the powder chamber. You wanna leave about a half inch protruding beyond the end of the mandrel and stiffener. Same deal. And when you get here, you wanna make sure that you help that turn under so that it doesn't fold on itself. And, and, and now you can you know, tug it and skid it and slide it until you get to the end. And again, you wanna keep that anchored with your thumb, trapped, so it can't unwind on you. You see there's no gaps here. It's nice and tight around the mandrel, okay? And then with the powder chamber, you're gonna pinch it and twist it in the same direction you were winding it onto the mandrel. And that not only permanently folds it and anchors it, but it also tightens it up as you go, okay? So there's our finished powder chamber, okay? And now you can take your bullet compartment that has the bullet already in it, and you can take your powder chamber, and it should be a tight fit. If you've, if you've done, got the right thickness of paper, and you know the, this half inch diameter man, mandrel and a 0.55 inch diameter bullet, then this finished powder chamber ought to be about 0.55 uh, inches in diameter also. So it should be a tight fit to go in there, okay? And then just like before, we get our gummed band, otherwise known as half inch wide masking tape. And you can roll it between your fingers, get it nice and tight uh, on the mandrel and uh, glued down nice and firmly, and then grab that powder chamber and you might have to spin your mandrel a little bit to get it out, but there it is, all right? And that's a nice, neat, finished cartridge. It shouldn't be loose or baggy or wrinkled, shouldn't be unwinding on itself uh, if you've wrapped them up nice and tight. And then to finish, You'd put your charge, um, 68 grains uh, of, of powder, and uh, then, uh, just as before, you wanna pinch this you know, at the mouth of the stiffener and twist and, and push down into the powder chamber up against where the powder will be. And that gives you a nice neat tail for tearing on later. So that's Two different ways to wind up your uh, 1860 Enfield cartridge. The historical way, using just, just one mandrel, the half inch mandrel, and then the ahistorical way that lets you make bullet compartments separately if you want to. So that's it in a nutshell. I hope that gives you some, some help. If you were having trouble getting nice, tight, neat cartridges, hopefully that will uh, give you some insight on how to achieve that.